Okay, guys, things that you want to do when you, wear, when you winterize your property is you're going to want to make sure that you blow out uh, your water lines, of course. We're going to, you got to suck all the water out of your toilets and the back of your toilet, too. You got to. You shop back, suck all that out, and you're going to pour antifreeze, uh, or mobile home antifreeze down in there. And you're going to pour down all your sinks. You're also going to want to make sure that uh, you got to drain your hot water heater. I forgot my garden hose, so this uh, works just fine. You make sure you drain your hot water heater, and if it is an electric hot water heater, you're going to want to make sure you turn off your breakers. If you don't, you'll blow your heating elements. So make sure you turn off your breakers to it. And I'll be back here in a minute to show you guys a little bit more. All right. Now, as you can see, I've sucked all the water out of the toilet completely. You also want to make sure back here that you put the lap up and you suck the water out of that also. Okay, this is the stuff here that I use. Arctic Band. Uh, it's antifreeze. I get it at Westlake. They're only like four dollars a gallon, so it's pretty cheap. If you guys have Westlake where you're at, what I do is I just pour water down here. Actually, what you want to do is you want to pour the water down inside that hole there, antifreeze down in there until it leaks through the lines into your toilet. So when you're done, you want it to look like this. You got the pink looking in there, and you get nice pink back here, if you can see it, and then down in there. We also pour it in the drains and all the sinks too. Just pour a little bit in the sinks, just that you're wanting to fill up the pee traps is all you're looking to do, okay? Just pour a little bit in there, fill up those like that. Now, the other thing you want to do also is make sure you pour some down your washing machine drain. And if you have a washing machine in here, you're going to want to run that washing machine through a cycle to pump this stuff through your washing machine also so it's in your motor of your washing machine. Uh, and that will make sure your washing machine motor don't break if you have these sitting through the winter time, which is a really good idea. A little tip there for you. We're still trying to drain the water out of my hot water tank. It does take a while to do that. So I'm going to go on and finish here, and then whenever I get ready to blow the lines out, I'll show you how that's done. As you see, this one here is good to go. Well, it's got our pink in it. Back here does. Pink's good there. Make sure you put down your tubs, your sinks, any drains at all. You're going to make sure you put them down on there. Okay, now guys, this is our, our water main right here, if you can kind of sort of see it right here and I'm gonna have to take off down in there take it off so I can hook it up to my uh, airline so I blow the line okay hope you can hear this over the noise of the uh, air compressor but uh, this is your tool right here you can just make it out of anything uh, it just hooks up to your water line with three and three quarter inch uh, male and then your connector here that goes to your airline. Just a hose in between is all you need there. That's basically an old garden hose that's been used. And that works just fine. 